Hi everybody, in this video, I wanna show you how to use OBS as an IP camera viewer. It's great for this because you can bring in multiple IP cameras. You could use a protocol like NDI, or you can use something like RTSP. Uh, you can see here, PTZ Optics has built-in pan tilt zoom plugin for OBS that you can use to control the cameras, and you can view multiple cameras at the same time. So OBS is a great software for having a camera viewer. Now let's look at how to do this with PTZ Optics cameras. So first of all, a camera is brought into OBS in a couple of different ways. You could bring in a camera via NDI, as I mentioned, or you can bring in a camera via RTSP. You could bring in cameras via USB, of course, as well, but or a capture card. But in this video, we're really looking at how to bring in a camera using IP. So in the sources area, we're going to click the plus button and we're going to choose media source. Now, media source is a great input to connect with RTSP video. So I've already done this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom you guys into the media source area and we'll take a look at how to do this. Now, it's worth noting that you do need to have all of your camera's IP address information set up and ready on your local area network. So I want to show you really quickly what my network setup looks like so you can have an idea of how we set this up. So you can see here that I'm keeping track of each IP address, its location, and we're even going down to the level of the SDI connection on our capture card. Now we're talking about IP connectivity, so just make sure that you have a static IP address for each of your cameras. That's all you really need to do this. We like to keep track of the model number, the friendly name, and the location just for our sanity and the SDI connection. But the minimum that you need is a static IP address for your PTZ Optics cameras, and uh, there is plenty of videos on how to do that. So I'm going to assume that you know how to do that. If not, check out the setup video for your camera. Now, essentially what we're going to do is we're going to connect to the camera over an RTSP string, and it's super simple. All you have to do is type in RTSP colon slash slash the IP address of the camera slash one. That's all you got to do to bring in your camera with that IP address. Now make sure that you click restart playback when source becomes active. And I've noticed that using hardware decoding when available really helps. Um, so that is what you want to do. The network buffering you want to keep low and the reconnect delay you want to keep at one second so that it continues to connect even if there's an issue. Now I've gone through and I've done this for, let's see how many cameras here. Let's turn that reconnect delay down to one second. And I've done that with this camera here. I've done it with another camera here. This is the camera I've set up for PTZ controls. And then I have another camera here as well. Now in our multi-view, you can see we've got one, two, three, four. And my third camera here looks like I need to reconnect Turn that reconnect down to one second there, and it should pop right up. That's my camera I have control over. So this way you can look at multiple cameras in your uh, OBS with the scenes. Now, something to consider in the settings here, in um, this is in video, you may have better uh, experience with your network if you set everything to 1280 by 720. Um, make sure that the settings of your RTSP stream match what you're trying to do here. In the advanced section, I recommend setting the process priority at high. And in the networking area, I suggest using binding your IP. This is a, a new feature in networking, so you know you're not using Wi-Fi. Bind your Ethernet connectivity to your local area network, the same network that is on your, um, your cameras, and then enable network optimizations as well. Hit apply, and that should help out your multi-view setup. Now, I wanted to mention a couple other cool things about 
using uh, PTZ Optics cameras with OBS. This is a uh, OBS scene that also includes a camera preset. Now that's pretty cool because now you can just click one button and have the camera move exactly where you want it to move. In fact, if you truly do have three or four cameras, you can have three or four cameras move at the same time uh, is when you click one preset. So I want to show how that works. So I've made videos about this before, but since we're in OBS, I just want to show this. Essentially, you can use the PTZ Optics HTTP commands. These are open source commands to, with a web browser input inside of OBS to call a preset. And you can actually do a bunch of different things with these HTTP commands. So if you just search for PTZ Optics HTTP commands, they come up right here. And what they are are essentially commands that you can type directly into a web browser, including the OBS web browser input, to move the camera, call presets, set up focus lock, do all kinds of great things with the cameras. Uh, but the most probably popular is to call a preset. And so essentially you can do that by typing that into the web browser input there. And you can click the refresh browser when scene becomes active. So what that does is it literally refreshes the browser as soon as the scene is active and issues this command to move the camera. Um, as you can see as well though, if I zoom out here, it is really nice to have these customizable PTZ controllers as well right here for controlling your camera. So it's whatever you like, but I wanted to show that option as well. I hope that's helpful for you guys. Um, think about using OBS. I have an entire book on OBS called The Unofficial Guide to Open Broadcaster Software. You can download for free below. And we have a course as well, which I'll be adding this video to. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And that's it for this video.